Lucy were so polite and respectful. And I had read in the paper that Ecuador would not kick him out. And when I got inside to see Julian, he said this is lies. Because Ecuador is very weak, because they're under such strong pressure from America that they're just waiting to find an excuse and then they got, he said and they will arrest me either tomorrow or definitely within two weeks that is what he said to me on Tuesday and what I want to say is that this is about it's about human rights free speech and misrule of law by government because what's at stake here the issue is that Chelsea Manning and Julian released American war crimes. Chelsea the whistleblower, Julian the publisher. And this is what this is about. And they've had this court waiting for them ever since. Yeah. And how did you feel when you heard what happened this morning? Well, it's incredibly violent. I mean, and I blame England anyway. England have kept him in that embassy trapped under total false pretenses, illegal. They've been keeping him there illegally for years, you know, through manipulating. They're just doing what they want and pretending it's uh, yeah. He's never been charged with anything, except possibly yeah. And what do you think needs to happen next? Sorry? What do you think needs to happen next? Well, all I'm just telling you is that I'm wearing this cloak. And this cloak has got writing on it, and it's about human rights, and it's about John Lilburn in the 17th century, who set up a charter of our human rights, which we're still supposed to stick to today, that he was tortured and then left for two years in the dark, cold, gagged. And he was let out by Oliver Cromwell after they chopped the king's head off. Yeah. And do you think Julian might have to endure some of the treatment? And, and, that, and so this is in support of Julian that he's been kept trapped and tortured for all this time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.